With that down, let's move on to our third main topic today. And our third main topic today gets sent in to us from David H., who writes, Hey, John, did you see the new poster for the upcoming finale of Crisis? This is, of course, the CW Arrowverse cr- crossover Crisis on Infinite Earths. Apparently, Arrow is now Spectre. Isn't he a little too powerful for this? Do you think that Spectre is overkill to fight Anti-Monitor? Thanks. All right. So, as most of you guys know, uh, first of all, I get excited every year for the annual Arrowverse crossover. I I am an unapologetic fan of the CW Arrowverse. I know they're cheesy, whatever, but there's part of that that I don't love everything about it. Don't get me wrong. But I've always enjoyed the CW Arrowverse crossover stuff, some things more than others. I have not really been into this Crisis on Infinite Earth so far. So far to me, it's just been a lot of very weak and shallow fan service stuff that hasn't really had any payoff or delivery. But we still do have a couple of episodes to go. So one interesting thing that's been going on is, of course, Oliver. And in the new poster, we see Oliver there in the middle. Of course, we left off with him, you know, kind of in the purgatory and being told you have a greater purpose and destiny. Okay. So which kind of rendered the whole trip to purgatory completely useless anyway. And we see Oliver there uh, as it appears, Rob, as the new Spectre. (laughs) Asking, isn't Spectre a little too powerful for a crossover like this uh, and for an event like this, isn't he too much even for somebody like Anti-Monitor? It's it's a fair question. On the one hand, I got to say, it's nice to see Oliver at the center of this again because Oliver, he is the centerpiece of the entire Arrowverse. I mean, it's called the Arrowverse. He is the centerpiece of all this. So it's nice to see him back there in the center of it again. And I like that he didn't just become a footnote uh, in this overall crossover. That's great. In the question of, isn't Spectre a little bit too powerful for this, keep this in mind. The comics are not the movies or the TV shows. Just because something is portrayed a certain way in a comic book does not necessarily mean they have to be portrayed that exact same way and to that exact same level in a TV show or in a movie. They can take a lot of liberties there and decide how they want this character to fit best here. I mean, just about every character in the Arrowverse is kind of a testament to that. But anyway, Rob, you hear the question being asked. So I want to ask you, what do you think about them, you know, kind of bringing in a Spectre character? And as the person who asked the question is asking, isn't this a little bit, is this a little bit of overkill for something like this? How would you respond? Well, yes. I mean, the Spectre as portrayed in the DC universe is (laughs) almost limitless power. Mm. I actually really like the idea that, that Oliver Queen is 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 the Spectre. I mean, if you're going to do something goofy, if you're going to kill him, it's a way to keep him around, and you can always bring him back if you have to. But I think you're right. I mean, I think one of the great things about whether it's the CW Arrowverse, whether it's the MCU, whether it's the DC, EU, these characters have to be tailored to fit the medium in which they appear. And I would be curious to see what they do with the Spectre. And I like the fact that a character that we know, a main character, has sort of evolved and transitioned to another life. And I, I like the idea. And yes, I don't think it's going to be exactly like the comics because then it's going to be <laughs> you're, you're, you're completely into a whole new realm of powers and what you're going to be able to see. I mean, I already think that because it's TV, you can never see Superman unleash the way he can unleash and say, Man of Steel. Uh, and have those kinds of battles. Although I have to say that the the two Superman beating on each other already was kind of fun to watch. Um, but yeah, I, I I think that we're going to see the version of the of the Spectre that that is is right for the CW universe. So I'm not worried about it. I'm actually curious to see how they do it. So the question here then becomes, guys, how do you feel about it? Do you like this move that they're going in with the final couple of episodes? Have you been enjoying the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover so far? What are you guys thinking? Jump down in the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right. 